how's it going everybody it's nick here and uh so i have a little bit of an intermission um thing so <laughs> i was reading the comments um actually one of the very few comments i have on my videos um of uh kuroi kenshi i think yeah which was saying for the pipes and tubes always start with a curve make adjustments and then give it thickness that is it He's actually right. Like this is another way of making pipes, um, which is very fast too. I have to say, I have to say. So I mean, this is one way. The way I've done it, like in the, in a couple of videos ago, I think. But uh, I'm actually gonna, nah, I'm just gonna leave them here and hide them, hide the decal as well. So one way that you can make pipes is also like this. So I get into ortho, yeah, on the side by holding alt. I set my origin point wherever I want. I set the point here, the origin point. And uh, I'm gonna go into mesh and I make single vert and add single vert. Now I'm gonna go into edit mode. Well, it's already in edit mode, but I press one so that I go into vertex mode. Okay. Then I E X. I extrude this out mm, to maybe here and then E Z and I control clamp it. See at the bottom uh, edge here. So what I can do is now convert it, I mean, first of all, bevel it, so I can like bevel it as much as I want, let's say I want uh, this amount of bevel, and then what I want to do is that I want to F3 and convert to curve. Now, this looks the same, but it is not, this is not now a string of vertices and edges, but it's an actual curve, despite what the name suggests. <laughs> then you can go into here, so you get this little uh, menu. And you can go into here and let me expand it one moment. Now the resolution, this doesn't matter because the, it, it was not with the bezier, like with the handles, we actually manually created this curve. Uh, but we can actually increase the depth and lo and behold, we have more or less the same result as before. Now you can increase obviously the resolution up to whatever, you know, like 15, 16. Um, you can then later add all the modifiers you want once we convert it to a mesh. Uh, but let's say we make it a 13 vert. Uh, and, you know, you can always go to the, on the side and you can always, you know, adjust it as much as you want. If you want to, you know, bring this more back, you can just select these and do this, right? Once you're done with your modifications, you can simply just open the context menu and convert to curve or just hit F3 and uh, so convert to curve, convert to mesh and or you can just find it from the F3 menu, convert to mesh and now it's actually a mesh. Now you can sharpen it, you know, and do whatever it is you want, you know, with the, our usual stuff that we do. Okay, so this is another way, like you don't, so you don't need to go like extrude and rotate, you know. By the way, if you feel like that you didn't give it enough uh, thingies, you can always go back to before and re-bevel it and then recurve it. It takes one second. So I'm just going to go back to before I actually made it a curve, like now. And I can, you know, obviously re-bevel it and maybe give it a bit more verts uh, in case you want to do that. And then convert it to a curve and simply go here and adjust the depth and the resolution by the way you can also extrude it if you want which is gonna make some funky design you know like this like so it's pretty cool actually it looks like a this actually looks hella cool maybe i should have done it like this hmm. and anyway you can always go to convert to a mesh and now it's a mesh sharpen and now we can keep on you know modeling normally Oh, did I just bevel the vertices? I did. See? So I'm, I'm going a little bit, a little bit fast, but just uh, don't want to spend too much time doing this. But just to show you what you can do with this thing. Anyway, uh, thank you, Kuro, for the, um, for the comment, like, uh, as always, Constructive criticism is always welcome. And besides, you know, he's also right. Like, uh, it's, you know, curves are a good way of uh, uh, doing things, like for pipes and such. Like, and such. Uh, for instance, you can, uh, let's say, if you want to make a very 
uh, intricate pipe, you know, like I'll show you. Like one way that you can do it. Let's say I make a single vert, right? And uh, well, first I go in here and I, no, I did not extrude it. Yep, extrude it up, let's say. And then I extrude it on the X, extrude on the Y. Jesus, I press C accidentally. Extrude on the Y and then X, uh, no, not rotate, extrude on the Z. Extrude on the X again, bring it back, extrude on the Y. You know, I'm kind of like freestyling it right now, but you will see what I mean. So once I've done this thing, I can just select everything, Contr uh, Control B to bevel and give it, you know, like, give it like a bevel, like that. So now I can do exactly the same, convert to curve. And obviously I can go in here and increase the depth, just like we did before. And uh, if I want, I can even extrude it to make that funky design that we were talking about. Of course, you need to uh, be aware of clipping, you know, you cannot go crazy with this. So, you know, if you want to do that, you have to, you have to be careful uh, not to start clipping stuff. Uh, but uh, this doesn't really happen with Bezier's. It tends to happen when you do like uh, this kind of things. But if you keep the extrusion to zero, you know, like it's way harder to clip stuff uh, when you're when you're just increasing the depth. You see, you have to go really, really deep, and now it will start clipping. But that's another way of doing things, and it's pretty cool. Last point that I swear I'll stop after this. Uh, another cool way that you can make curves. Let's say I want to run a pipe, you know, that runs like all the way like around this object. So what I can do is I can just separate, um, not separate, sorry, I can isolate it. And I can just uh, click, alt click, and I think I got everything. Yep. So I can click, alt click, I can duplicate. Yep. Uh, separate the selection, go back. And uh, if I can select it, yeah. Uh, I can then convert that to a curve. And I have this. And I can uh, go in here and increase the depth. Once I'm done, I can convert it to mesh. I can sharpen it. And then if I unhide everything else, or exit simply. There you go. I'm left with that. You know, and then you can go in, make modifications, whatever it is you want. And, you know, like you can even distance it a bit, you know, like there are ways of... Um, I mean, you could, when it was a curve, you know, that it was verts, you could always like scale it up so that it's, you know, not gonna clip inside the model. But normally before you make a piping and stuff, you, you make ridges for the pipes to go into uh, normally, unless uh, you're doing it over uh, a geometry. But uh, yeah, this is another way of creating curves. You can easily extract them from meshes. And there is also a way uh, with decal machine to do the, uh, sorry, not decal machine, I think is mesh machine. Uh, curve extract, which uh, will directly do this, and you're done, <laughs> as it is, you know, like, uh, you can always then go in here and, you know, make all the, well, actually, wrong, make all the modifications that you want, you know, increase resolution and blah, 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 but that's another really cool way, it's just shift select everything, curve extract, and just scroll, and you're done, and that's a curve. Anyway, cool stuff. Curves are awesome. Use them as well.